Hey team, welcome back to my channel. The source code for this video is available on my GitHub account. Here you can see the URL for the document you would need to download. In this program, we have an array of numbers. Let's search for number pairs when added together will equal six. So here you can see a five and a one, while well, they equal six. Okay, here we go. We have a four and a two equals six. Let's add the array of numbers to the variable numbers now. Assign six to find added value, and then let's call find pairs with our arguments. Now when we get there, we're gonna then call find sum. So I'm going to send in number and then I'm going to send in this thing to find. Let's initialize result to an empty list. And then I'm going to say for i in range, take the length of numbers minus one. So one, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to say, just say to four. The reason why is we're looking forward one index position. So here I say n1 equals number sub i. Now, right now i is zero. Now I'm going to say index equals i, 0 plus 1. So I'm comparing 0 and sub 1, right? And those two do equal 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say n2 equals number sub index. Now does n1, 1 plus 5 equal 6? Yes, append to the result list. Then I'm going to increment index, and I'm going to come up here. And then I'm going to stay inside of this loop until this expression fails. Increment the for loop and then do the while loop again. Then I'm going to return result. Now return result comes into indexes. Now if indexes has a value, then I'm going to do this for loop. Now if this is none, I'm going to come down there and say no pairs were found. But let's go over case I found something. So I'm going to say pair in indexes. So index one, index two equals my pair. So notice the index. The index is not this number, but it's ordinal position. So this is zero, one, two, three, four, you got it. Then I'm gonna use that ordinal position called index one and index two of the actual number array. And then I'm gonna put those in N1 and N2. We know that those are pairs that equal six. And then I'm gonna print out this little message and then I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna stay inside of this loop for all of our sums that are equal our lookup value. Let's see this thing run. Here you can see I'm at a command prompt on my Windows computer and then I'm gonna say Python and then the name of my program is called findpairs.py. Let's execute this. And notice we found two sets, one plus five, six, four plus two, six. This program is all done. Hey team, I hope this video was able to teach you a thing or two. For sure, you must know arrays, looping, and how to write a Python program in general. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I hope you'll come back and watch more videos from Software Nuggets. Until then, take care.